Where we are now is an area where in 1607, and we're pretty confident that that's the date, uh, a number, at least 33 individuals were buried here quickly uh, in a space of 44 days. There's a list of 25 people dying in the first summer of the, the original colonists. And, uh, and there are other reasons to know that, the, that this is that unmarked burial ground. And the way we can tell a, that there is a burial here without any bone showing is that the dirt here that was here when the colonists arrived was black. It's sort of a topsoil. And when they dug a grave deep, it goes into clay and it comes out as a lighter type soil. And that's, so the outline of the grave, here you have one right here, an individual right here. There are other such things in line. Uh, they're not too visible here, but um, we've uncovered. So here's a good example right here where this is uh, been outlined just like that. In fact, they're right in a straight line. And so this is an organized burial ground and the fact that they're so aligned means that they, they're buried just about at the same time because the other graves were known when another one was put in. So it's very, very significant, very significant um, because these are the original sacrifice, sacrificial lambs, I guess you'd say, the people that die when they don't, didn't realize what kind of environment they were going to get into when they came to Virginia in 1607. And have you actually gotten down to bone yet in any of these? Uh, we uncovered three. Uh, of these burials in an area we, we've already filled back in over top of them. There were two double burials and one single, and that single was, uh, we found out, a, a burial of a, of a boy of about 14 years old who had an arrow in his leg. He had bad uh, healthy health problems. Uh, his bones, his jaw had actually been uh, decayed and a broken collarbone. And, and he's going to be uh, discussed in uh, and uh, the forensic part of that is going to, all this analysis has been done by Dr. Douglas Ousey at the Smithsonian, and that's going to be part of the, uh, of the written and bone exhibit coming up uh, next February. And what's been the most exciting thing you guys have come upon in the last uh, year or so? Well, the, the most significant, uh, under, uh, on what we've uncovered the most significantly, of course, is this burial ground, I think. Uh, and. Uh, and then uh, there, we found an underground blacksmith shop that was turned into an experimental laboratory for looking for gold, silver, ores. Uh, and then it was recycled and it became a bakery. There were ovens inside and that, that was really exciting. And uh, arms and armor had been thrown into the cellar uh, after it was used as the, as the uh, bakery. So it was really, really... Um, Poignant kind of stuff, you know, I mean, it, it almost looks medieval, this armor. We had a closed helmet where there was like an iron mask uh, and uh, all of these features. And so it's been, it's been exceedingly, uh, really been a good year. And what's the, what have the physical conditions been like the last couple of days? Hot. <laughs> it's 100 degrees we're standing here. And that's why I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to have a beer.